everyone welcome to this updated video i really hope you're having an amazing saturday thus far and we'll be talking about that big frontal system that's going to be making its way through the caribbean and bringing its impacts as we head into next week so it is currently developing and here we're looking at a map of parts of north america mostly the u.s as we're seeing and we can see all those white dots in the gulf of mexico which indicate lightning strikes so a lot of thunderstorm activity is already developing and it is this system here which is going to further intensify and eventually the associated front is going to bring impacts to the caribbean looking at the atlantic region on the wide scale though we're seeing sort of a mess up in the north with all these other low pressure systems around and across the main development region and the eastern caribbean islands even parts of south america all that saharan dust as well has been making itself known but we do see some thunderstorms developing over parts of venezuela even colombia and the island of aruba near uh, aruba in the southeast caribbean so there isn't anything crazy going on across the region, maybe some passing showers at the most. And throughout the rest of today, this is the rainfall forecast uh, today really into tomorrow morning. So it's going to be active in the Gulf with that storm system developing and then across other areas such as the just offshore, the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, Panama, and even in portions of Colombia and western Venezuela over in the eastern part of venezuela and also toward the guyanas will be a little bit on the drier side same story for trinidad tobago grenada even the grenadines as well and other parts of the eastern caribbean now speaking of uh, near trinidad just offshore of venezuela right within that area there was an earthquake and i'll be talking about that in a moment it was an estimated magnitude 4.9 and i'll be uh, showing you guys some details soon now, as we look towards other parts of the Northern Caribbean, such as the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, maybe even some spots in Cuba and Jamaica, there could be some showers moving by as well. Same story down to the ABC Islands, but over in the Cayman Islands in parts of Central America, including sections of Mexico, Belize, El Salvador, Guatemala, maybe even sections of Honduras, maybe on the drier side. Same story goes for the offshore islands, the Bay Islands of Honduras, the Keys offshore Belize, and San Andreas and Providence. Up into the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, it is a similar story where much is not expected. Now, as we take a look at portions of the U.S. here, we're seeing uh, that some of these areas, some of these states such as Southeast Louisiana could experience quite a bit of rainfall, up to three inches of rain or so as we head through the time frame. Other states such as Arkansas, parts of Eastern Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, and even for Florida as well, will be experiencing some periods of heavy rain. So this system is shifting toward the east. So this is going to be spreading eastward, where some areas could receive some periods of very heavy rainfall. Winds are going to be kicking up as well. And for the Florida Panhandle, there could even be a couple of tornadoes. So please take the necessary precautions where required. As it relates to the wind forecast, this is for later today, this evening, and we are seeing that it's not too colorful right now across most caribbean islands of course in the gulf again with that system developing that low pressure area winds are going to be kicking up and later in the video i'll be showing you the forecast for the next couple of days along with the model runs of what is expected so that front looks as though it will be a pretty strong one that will impact most of the caribbean in one way or another be it rough seas those strong winds a lot of heavy rainfall and also the cooler temperatures but before we go on to it let's talk about that earthquake so there was an estimated magnitude 4.9 earthquake just offshore off northeastern venezuela and well offshore of trinidad and tobago so it was uh, not very strong moderate shaking there was also deep and the deeper these shakings happen the less likely they are to be felt at a great intensity because as those waves or as all that energy travels from wherever the earthquake happens within the crust of the earth they weaken so if this was closer to the surface then it would have been felt stronger by anyone who would have felt it but it was just offshore venezuela and uh, quite some distance from trinidad and to make but you can still let me know in the comments if you guys felt it so overall aside from that and the fact that the area around the dominican republic puerto rico the virgin islands is quite active with these uh, minor earthquakes on a daily basis or every 
two days or so, there is nothing much really happening across the Caribbean right now. But going on to that major frontal system, let's look at what models are showing. We're kickstarting things with the GFS, and this is as we head into tomorrow morning. There we're seeing all of that activity. Those green shadings indicate the moisture, uh, the precipitation rate, and as we see those yellow and orange shadings popping up, that's a lot more heavy rain. As we head out to uh, uh, tomorrow evening, there is that area of low pressure and all that activity making its way towards the Bahamas and even parts of the northern Caribbean, Cuba, the Cayman Islands near Jamaica right there. And eventually going into Monday evening, take a look at this. We're seeing that uh, system strengthening, a lot of moisture associated with it and uh, maybe some very substantial rainfall potentially with flooding across some areas once this is going to be making its way through. Through. Eventually, as we head to Tuesday, in terms of the rain, things should be clearing up for Cuba, the Cayman Islands. But as that rain is going to be clearing up across the Western Caribbean, the cool down is going to be following behind those below average temperatures setting into parts of the region. Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, even over in Central America as well. well but take a look at that low pressure system still strengthening offshore the northern Bahamas until it eventually makes its way out. But there is that front and the story does not end there. As we head into Thursday, we're seeing all of this moisture moving through parts of the northeastern Caribbean and some of these yellow, orange and even red shading. So there could be quite a bit of rainfall, some heavy rain across northeast islands if what we're seeing actually comes to fruition. So that is going to be the main story for next week across the Caribbean as it relates to weather activity. Let's look at the wind forecast. So this is as we're going to be heading into tomorrow and there we are seeing those purple and those blue shadings popping up, those winds kicking up in the Gulf but also the Caribbean. Look at that darker blue shading near the Cayman Islands. So eventually as that frontal system makes its way through the basin, winds are going to be kicking up and also those waves, especially in the northwestern Caribbean, which will make conditions pretty much unfavorable for some marine activity. So let's look at the wave height forecast as we head into Monday, go into Tuesday. Some of these wave heights in the Caribbean could be up to 12 or even 13 feet. But uh, we see that this is not going to be continuing throughout the entire basin. However, as that low pressure system makes its way out, it is going to be resulting in those uh, very high seas across the Bahamas, even for Bermuda up there, and especially the northern coast of the northeastern Caribbean islands, such as Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even towards parts of the Lesser Antilles. It's going to get pretty active. So guys, that is pretty much what is expected as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. And of course, I'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening and all that is expected. So I really hope that you found this video to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.